I'm going to show you how to do two things today. Um, I'm going to show you how to read in your curves if you're using semi landmarks, and also how to improve your uh, deformation grids by adding in like uh, lines to produce more of a shape frame. So, I'm first just going to set my working directory. So now we want to load GMR. So as well, that's loaded. Um, when importing a file that contains the semi landmarks, if you appended your TPS curve to landmarks using TPS util, then you can just import as you would usually. But otherwise, you need to make sure that you include reverb. So if you're importing usually and you've already appended your curve, then you just read your data in. Like so. And you can see it's found no curves because they will change the landmarks. But if you have the normal data, then you'll need to include. And you can see it's found the curves there. So now that you've got this data, you can just do what we did in uh, the other video run a generalized procrastus analysis. So we've got our data there, and that's what the curve is on the head of the fit. You can also run a PCA. So the second thing that I was going to show is how you can um, draw your lines between your landmarks when you do your deformation grid. So, I'm just going to show what the shape would look like first. So that is our normal deformation grid. There's just 11 specimens, so very small sample for this example. Um, so now I'm going to show how we draw these links. So we're going to use define dot links. You can see it's showing us. Um, all of our landmarks and now we get the option to link between them so we just go through linking all the landmarks that we want to be connected
so now we've got our links defined, we can now plot that deformation grid again, but this time each of the landmarks that we chose to be linked are now linked. 